We have a lot of Raptors news to break down as apparently two potential finalists for the Raptors coaching position are now out of the race. Gary Trent Jr. is now being targeted by the Orlando Magic and we now know another potential destination for Fred Van Vliet. So we have all that and a whole bunch more to cover in this video. So without further ado, let's jump to the first topic of discussion. First thing we're taking a look at is another update regarding the Toronto Raptors coaching race as seems like a lot of teams across the NBA fired some well-regarded coaches across the NBA and they end up hiring some new guys and the Toronto Raptors is still the final team that are yet to make a decision. Well, there's a lot of names being thrown out left, right, and center. It seems like two of them are now out of the running, at least according to Doug Smith of uh, the Toronto Star, saying that according to multiple NBA sources, neither ex-Brooklyn head coach and Canadian icon Steve Nash nor Sacramento Kings associate head coach Jordy Fernandez have been invited for a second interview for the Toronto job that has been vacant since Nick Nurse was let go in April. So this is interesting. Now, a lot of people didn't really expect Steve Nash to get the job, even though, as Smith said, he's a Canadian icon, basketball legend up here, didn't have the greatest finish with the Brooklyn Nets, and even though he seemed to have oppressed in his interviews, he didn't get a second call back. So Nash isn't someone I think a lot of Raptors fans are surprised is out of the running at this point, or at least according to Doug Smith, but Jordy Fernandez is a guy that a lot of Raptors fans have looked at as a favorite, just given the fact how the Sacramento Kings have really turned their team around in this most recent season with Jordy Fernandez there, his history with the Nuggets, going across the league, his deep seat of history, you know, as an assistant coach across the league, he's one of those guys that sort of next up in terms of getting a coaching spot. So a lot of people were pretty excited about Jordy Fernandez. He has a lot of cool quotes about coaching philosophy and all that. So according to Doug Smith, at least, he was just a preliminary candidate and not truly a finalist and didn't get that extra interview. But that's kind of contradicted by Mark Stein, who gave another sort of update regarding the Raptors coaching uh, situation, indicating that Kenny Atkinson is still a name that's on board, which I think this article still reflects. You know, we know Kenny Atkinson was a finalist for this team and also said that Jordy Fernandez is still in the running, kind of combating what Doug Smith said. So lots of contradicting stuff out there. It seems like every report has just basically said, hey, Toronto's pretty tight-lipped about this. Obviously, you can't prevent all leaks from happening, but their sources are limited in terms of the Raptors coaching search. So we're just trying to piece it all together out here on these Raptors Digest videos. So at least we can have some grasp of what's going on. But I believe uh, no one's really going to know until it's actually officially announced by Masai Ujiri. But at this point, who are your guys' favorites? Because uh, uh, right, uh, Darko on the Men uh, Memphis Grizzlies coaching staff right now. He's still a candidate. Uh, Sergio, another guy that could potentially be coming in here. So former Toronto Raptors assistant, EuroLeague legend. So let me know what you guys think, who your favorite is to be the Raptors' next head coach. Next thing we're taking a look at is the Orlando Magic targeting Gary Trent Jr. And this one is pretty interesting because the Toronto Raptors have three free agents this summer. We've heard numerous things and more coming out in this video today about Fred Van Vliet. We heard a report a few weeks back saying it's almost a done deal that Jakob Pertl will be returning to the Toronto Raptors, so not a lot has been made about him and free agency, but one guy that could be, you know, will likely be turning down his player option and entering unrestricted free agency this summer is Gary Trent Jr. He's a guy that, regardless of how your opinions of how he closed out the season, especially struggling coming off the bench, the Raptors needs shooting. And without Gary Trent Jr. shooting on this team coming back to next season, it's going to be a blow to this squad. So... Wondering where he's going to go, what contracts he could receive. It's of high interest to Raptors fans, and we haven't heard a lot of information on it. Well, we heard a report coming out today basically saying that the Orlando Magic are interested in Grant Williams and Gary Trent Jr., according to Sean Devaney. So there's a lot of, especially with the cap uh, evolving cap situation going on. A lot of these guys in the 15 to 20 to potentially low 20s million dollar range. A lot of NBA teams across the league just aren't going to be able to pay for these dudes, especially Grant Williams and the Boston Celtics, whereas Jalen Brown's going to be making like $60 million if he gets that uh, Supermax extension, you know, at some point down the line. So they're not going to have a lot of uh, bread to throw around to 3 and D wing guys. And while the Raptors don't have any Supermax players on the roster at the moment, we have Pascal, that's a lot of money. Fred, if he comes back, would be paid a lot. OGs on a pretty significant deal. We have to think about Scotty Barnes in the future. Right, and Gary Trent Jr. commanding that type of money. 
on this roster would be a significant cap hit. And the Orlando Magic, if they're one thing, they have a bit of cap space to be thrown around to acquire some of these dudes that different teams, different organizations might not be able to pay or might not value as high as the open market will actually give them. And we've heard the rumors of Fred Van Vliet, and now they're also looking at Gary Trent Jr. And I think... Unfortunately enough, he would be a decent fit down there with Orlando. They have a lot of point guards, but with Franz being more of a three and stuff, Gary could slide in out there as the off guard, start out there with Fultz, Suggs. You know, if the Magic aren't that high on those two guard lineups, maybe shake up their roster. He will be a fit down there in Orlando, so I could see why they'd want him on the squad. But the Raptors, if they let go of Gary Trent Jr., they are going to need a to fill a significant hole that we already have, right? We already have a gaping hole in this Raptors roster and shooting. So to, to dig it even further by letting Gary Trent Jr. walk for nothing would be a big, big hit. So the Raptors better have some plans for this offseason if other teams are going to be throwing bags at our players. But speaking of uh, other teams looking at our players, our shooters, our guys, the Houston Rockets are turning their eyes to Fred Van Vliet in this scenario that they don't land James Harden. Now, the Sixers just hired Nick Nurse. So that's sort of like a win now move, I'd imagine, you know, at least perceived by the front office by stars like James Harden, Joel Embiid. So maybe that's an attractive piece to keep James Harden to stay. But there's a lot of rumors that James Harden might be going to the Houston Rockets. And if he does go to the Rockets, this report is essentially nullified. But essentially it came out from Kevin O'Connor saying that James Harden stays with the Philadelphia 76ers. The Rockets will turn to Raptors free agent guard Fred Van Vliet according to Jake Fisher in his latest piece. Houston is also in on Brooke Lopez, Cam Johnson, and Dylan Brooks. So we know that the Houston Rockets are trying to turn things around this season. They just brought in Nime Udoka. They have a lot, a young core on that squad. They have another top five pick. Jabari Smith Jr., Jalen Green, Alfred Shingoon, right? And they kind of need a point guard that can calm everything down and just try to be a veteran out there to win them some games. Now, Kevin Porter Jr. is definitely a talent. He's not Fred Van Vliet, so people roast me when I praise Fred Van Vliet. So I just, I can already see people typing up the comments now at this point, but Fred Van Vliet going down there makes sense. He's a veteran presence. He can sort of, he's won a championship. He's battle tested. He's had a lot of playoff runs. So I see the fit down there with Houston and maybe just like the Orlando Magic, they could be throwing serious money at one of our Raptors guards and we just can't match it. You know, apparently Masai Jerry wants Fred back. He's interested in exploring free agency. So we'll see what ends up happening on that front. But let me know if you guys would like to see Fred Van Vliet brought back or would you like to see him walk to the Houston Rockets? But the next, uh, speaking of guards, Scoot Henderson could still be a Toronto Raptor. And, you know, if we lose Fred, if we lose these guys, we need a guard coming in. Scoot Henderson is a guy, even though the shooting isn't great, I think he'd be a, a really nice piece to add to this Raptors group. But basically... Right, the only way we get him is if we make a trade with the Portland Trailblazers, and apparently the Hornets are leaning towards Brandon Miller with the number two overall pick. So that would lead Scoot Henderson to go in number three. It seems like those guys are the consensus top three. So if the Raptors did want to make a trade with all the rumor talks about the Portland Trailblazers and Raptors potentially making a move, right? Toronto could still land Scoot Henderson. So let me know if you guys would like to see us make a big splash for one of those top three picks. Apparently, Shaden Sharp is basically off the table in any of these uh, top three discussions. They're really high on keeping him around on the squad. So we'll see. We'll see if any of these big blockbuster moves can go down. We've been breaking down in recent videos. Masai said, stay close to your phone. So we'll see if uh, Ujiri can really turn things rocking with uh, Bobby Webster. But the final thing we're discussing is uh, Paul George calling Scotty Barnes a potential DPOY candidate. Now, for people that haven't been able to catch it, obviously, best podcast. I don't even know if we're considered a podcast. YouTube. Subscribe to Raptors Digest. But one of my second favorites out there. You know, that's uh, not a part of Digest Media. It's been Paul uh, George's uh, podcast. He's been having people on. It's been very interesting to listen. And he had some praise for Scotty Barnes in a recent video. Basically saying how he's one of the most underrated defenders in the league. He kind of gets slept on on that end of the floor. He looks at Scotty Barnes as being a potential DPOY candidate in the future. So... From the eye test this season, a lot of Raptors fans might not agree, but the intangibles, right, the, the the length, the speed from Scotty Barnes, and when he's locked in, he is certainly a phenomenal defender, and the fact that a guy like Paul George, who plays the position as an all-star, all-NBA guy at that spot, is given this praise to Scotty Barnes makes me very excited about his potential on that end of the floor, even if uh, we saw some inconsistencies out there on the defensive end for Scotty and Rick. At this most recent season, at least. But let me know what you guys think about all this Toronto Raptors news. You guys are best to make this far. As mentioned, subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already. It means the world to me. Lots of fun stuff coming. But you guys are the best. I'm signing out. Cheers.